What is Multicultural Literacy? In school, teachers cater to diverse students, be it in gender, race, color, economic status, religion, etc. Therefore, they need to understand what multicultural literacy is, in order to come up with appropriate approaches in class. Multicultural literacy refers to the aptitudes of looking at and understanding something without any cultural biases. It is the ability to accept the various viewpoints to achieve a better compassionate assessment of any situation. Multicultural literacy was adapted from the work of Hirsch. Transformed into an inclusive concept, it was intended to address complex social issues. As a literacy, it depends less on recalling facts and more on developing the means of measuring cross-cultural awareness. It consists of the knowledge and skills to identify the creators of knowledge, to view knowledge from diverse ethnic and cultural perspective, and to use knowledge to guide action that will create a humane and just world. As such, it depicts diversity, equity, and social justice in order to foster cultural awareness on discrimination and oppression toward other ethnicities. Moreover, it creates a sense of belonging, forging a connection between home and school environments, and across cultures. And although it has many purposes, its greatest accomplishment is its ability to bring people closer together, regardless of culture and ethnicity. In today's globalized world, the growing racial, cultural and linguistic diversity of many countries demands that schools be transformed in substantial ways in order to prepare students to respond more effectively. As diversity grows, there is a need for multicultural education. Schools should help students develop the 21st century skills and attitudes that are needed to become active citizens who work toward achieving social justice within communities. According to the Ontario Ministry of Education, culture goes much deeper than typical understandings of ethnicity, race, and or faith. It encompasses broad notions of similarity and difference. Hence, some key practices in the classroom for multicultural literacy is for teachers to not be colorblind, label students, or use negative connotations in relation to diverse backgrounds. Now, how can multicultural literacy be used in the classroom? A good starting point is to be able to integrate, use, and make meaning of multicultural texts in the classroom. This means that it is necessary to fully engage with the texts to ensure that 1. Illustrations accurately reflect culture, story, people, and events. 2. Authentic dialogue is facilitated. 3. Descriptions of authentic cultures are used in the text. 4. There is portrayal of all people, including both minority and majority, as individuals. 5. There are no stereotyping or tokenism. And 6. There are a variety of genres for students to choose from. What about you? What are your views on multicultural literacy? How are you going to use it? Let us know in the comments below. If you think this video is helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more related content. Thank you and see you in our next videos.